things in today? Uh, I'm looking to purchase my first handgun. All right. So, do you have any experience with firearms at uh, all? No, not really. Not uh, not a lot of experience. What are you going to be using the gun for? Do you uh, well, home protection? I'm or thinking CCW? about getting my CCW, but I don't really know what I should get. Okay. Do you have any suggestions? I do. So, is there a certain price point that you're trying to stay around or stay under? Uh, I'd like to stay somewhere between. Uh, Three hundred to five hundred dollars. Okay, that's a really good price point. You could definitely get a really good gun for that. Awesome. So I think a good place to start might be a nice subcompact Glock, okay. since your price point is there. Okay. So this is a Glock forty three, and it's really nice to carry. You'd be able to conceal it really well. And then you could still use it for home protection and fun with target practice as well for this one. I will take this one. Awesome. Okay. Well, I will get the box and everything all together. In the meantime, I can start you on your background check form. Okay. So in order to fill out the background check, you'll just need a government-issued ID with your picture on it and okay. the current address on it. Okay. And this is a 4473 form. So okay. this is the... FBI background check that makes sure that you can legally own a firearm. We do this on every gun that leaves our store. So we're here at Garrett's Guns and Ammo in Ashtabula, Ohio, and we're here to talk about uh, buying a gun for the very first time. So this is Sam. How are you doing, Sam? Great. Uh, so we are going to explain to you guys exactly kind of what uh, goes into the process of buying a gun or, you know, a handgun. So. Um, you gotta fill out a form, right? Correct. You have so. to fill out a ATF form 4473, and it looks like this. Okay. It looks really intimidating because there's a whole bunch of pages, but you can rest assured you don't have to fill out. It's not a lot to fill out. It, it is just the first page, really, that you fill out. The other stuff is more for us as the dealer to fill out after the fact. So if they had a question on here, what do they do? Do they, they ask you, or is there information they can find? We can't really answer too many questions. We don't want to influence you or guide sure. you to put an answer that might not be correct. So if you have any questions on here of what a word means or you know you just don't really know, there are answers in the back to all of the questions on the form that you okay. can read. And and we certainly, if you have a question, I mean, we'll, we'll try our best to help you, but again, we can't really, don't really want to guide you right. to make an answer. Absolutely. Um, so. Buying a gun, and I've I've always said this, the buying a gun is a very personal experience. Uh, for me, there's a couple certain factors that go into um, buying a gun. So, uh, you know, number one is going to be what you're using the gun for. If you're using it for target practice, if you're using it for CCW, home defense, there's a lot of different questions you need to ask yourself. And uh, also, uh, the availability does do gun shops in your area carry that gun? Can you find it online? Uh, and then probably the last thing, probably one of the most important things, is the price point. Um, can you afford to buy that gun? What what can you afford? Um, are you allowed to carry that gun in your in your area? That, these are the questions, uh, or in your state, I should say. Uh, these are the questions you need to ask yourself. So uh, we have a couple examples up here that could be good first um, purchases for your your first gun, and uh, typically. The first time that someone's going to purchase their gun is more likely going to be for a CCW purpose, correct? Yep. Uh, so when someone buys a handgun, they're going to come in, you know, I just, I got my CCW or I'm going to take my CCW, what gun should I buy? Uh, so we have a couple examples up here uh, that are moderately priced. Uh, you know, you're not going to break the budget with these guns at all. So what do we have uh, over here? Yeah, and so I think too, you don't have to, it's important to know, you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a good gun. Right. You, you can be in the budget and still get a pretty good gun for what you need. So first and foremost we have a Taurus revolver, it's a 38 special and revolvers are good because they don't take a lot of knowledge to learn how to work them. Right. Just uh, there's, no, there's no user error, you know, it's kind of foolproof almost. So a revolver is good for home protection definitely or for CCW too if you, if you choose to do that. Okay, and then uh, what's this one over here? The next one is a Smith & Wesson M&P 380 shield, and it's the EZ model. So what's the EZ mean? EZ is just like what it sounds like. It's so easy to function. Easy. So okay. they made it easy to pull back the slide. The serrations are even a little bit different, so it's easier to grab onto. 
and even things like the slide release are are easier to work in the easy. So that's one that one is good if you have hand trouble or arthritis or right. you just don't have the physical hand strength to pull back and work the action. Um, you can you can still get a semi-auto. You're not just limited to a revolver at that point. And this last one over here is a, a fairly popular one nowadays. It is. Yep, it is probably the best-selling gun in our store. It is the Taurus G2C 9mm. And for a pretty low price for a concealed carry 9mm, yep, um, the Taurus is nice because it holds 12 rounds. So it's it's still a pretty good capacity even for a small gun. Yep. Uh, so when I come to buy one of these guns from your store, I fill out a 4473, and that's essentially just a background check, right? Correct. So you're going to, we're going to compare it with your state or government issued photo ID. Okay. And what we're looking for is that what you're filling on here is actually true to you and right. what matches your ID. So we want to make sure that you actually are living at the spot that you're saying that you're living and you are on the birthday that you say that you are and everything. So. Uh, we need a government issued ID with your photo on it, or combinations of ID. If you don't have one that has all of the pertinent information, you can bring more than one with you. And also in the state of Ohio, if you have a CCW license, um, that helps the process a little bit too. We, we still have you fill out the background check form, but it's just a little bit different way that we run it through the system. Okay, so it's faster that way. It's a little bit faster. It speeds up the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So. Sometimes when someone comes to buy a gun, there's a chance that they could get a delay in buying that gun. So what would cause something like that? Correct. So a delay could be caused for a bunch of different reasons. Some of the more common ones include any arrest in your background, even Obviously. for minor arrests. Okay. Uh, just puts up a little red flag that they need to research you a little bit further. Okay. Uh, another common reason that people would get delay is if they have a really common name. Um, you know, okay. John, John Smith, Smith <laughs> might get a delay, especially if they don't use their social just to kind of differentiate the John Smiths. Right. It's just um, mis misidentification okay. and certain military clearances also can put you on a delay. Okay. Okay, so one of the questions that I get asked probably the most is, do I need to register my gun? So can you give any insight into that? Of course. So in Ohio, we do not have gun registration. Uh, it's a common misconception. A bunch of people always say, you know, where can I go to register my gun or when is my gun going to be registered to me? Right. In other states, and make sure and check your state and local laws, um, other states have re gun registration, handgun registration, but Ohio does not have either. So it's just the background check that needs to be performed and then the gun is yours. So when, if someone in a state where they do have to register, where does that come into play? Is it, is it the, the, buyer's responsibility or is it your responsibility as the Again, owner? I believe every state is probably a little bit different. different. And so some states, it happens when you fill out the background check, they'll fill out a separate handgun registration form. Um, other states, I believe that the dealer does it. It's, it just really depends on which state you're in. But Ohio does not have any gun registration. So you guys have your own lowers, right? Correct. And we have our own custom lowers. And so we have just their general 223556 forage lowers. I don't have any of those here today, but we also have the AR-10 for or billet lowers. And then recently we got our nine millimeter and 45 lowers. And these take standard Glock mags. They are billet lowers. So before you even ask, yes, it does take Glock mags. Glock mags, mags. Glock <laughs> mags. And they're available here at Garrett's Guns and Ammo, one thirty nine ninety nine for the nine millimeter, the forty five, or the AR ten lower. And if they wanted to, they can go on your website uh, and find these as well. Yep. Uh, Garrett's Guns and Ammo dot com. Yep, Garrett's okay. Guns and Ammo dot okay. com. Can I can't link it because YouTube won't. Um, it's a whole thing. You guys already know YouTube hates guns, so I can't link it. But uh, I will try and put it in the link in our website so you guys can find them. Right. So you can make your own really cool gun and support a really cool local business awesome. in Northeast Ohio. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Thank you to Garrett and Sam out at Garrett's Guns and Ammo for letting us come out and shoot that video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it kind of shed some light to new shooters, new to gun buyers, that uh, buying a gun isn't a scary process, that it can 
be a very easy and enjoyable thing. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please uh, hit that like button, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button as we make new videos like this every single week. And remember to hit that bell for notifications so you can become part of our notification squad and get alerted when we make new content just like this. That's it, guys. Thank you for being here once again. I appreciate it. You know the drill. Stay humble, stay free, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time. What else do we got? Um, so, I don't see other on here for my gender. I am leaving. Fair enough. <laughs>